Hi guys, today we're going to be reading a fantastic book by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Caroline Pedler. Today it's called, I'm Not Grumpy. Mouse was in a particularly grumpy mood. He'd woken up to find that the door to his oak tree was blocked by a big furry bottom. <sighs> That's just what I need, he grumbled, climbing out the window to see what was going on. Then, splash! A drop of water landed on Mouse's nose. Rain? he sighed. That's just what I need. But it wasn't a raindrop. It was a teardrop from a very sad little badger. Where's my mummy? she wailed. I don't know, squeaked Mouse, but I'll help you find her if you stop that racket. Little Badger stopped crying. Then, with a sniffle, she took Mouse's paw and off they went. They hadn't gone far when a butterfly fluttered past. Pretty! squealed Little Badger, galloping after it. Stop! squeaked Mouse. But when Little Badger did, Mouse was completely lost. <sighs> That's just what I need, he groaned. Hello, Squirrel, hooted Owl. What a dear little badger. Oh, and you've brought lunch. I am not lunch, spluttered Mouse. Indeed, nodded Owl. You're that grumpy mouse. I don't eat grumpy mice. They're far too sour. Actually, said Squirrel, he's trying to get Little Badger home to her mum. Then follow me, smiled Owl. The forest is a dangerous place after dark, so we'd better get going. Everyone followed Owl deeper into the forest. Then, splosh! A drop of water landed on Mouse's nose. Oh, please don't start crying again, grumbled Mouse. But it wasn't a teardrop. It was a raindrop. <sighs> That's just what I need, Mouse huffed as it started to pour. We must keep Little Badger dry, said Owl. Soggy badgers catch colds. Oh, crumbs, gasped Mouse. Anyone got an umbrella? You're welcome to shelter under my tummy, said a big brown bear. But what is a grumpy mouse doing out here with Little Badger? He's trying to get her home, said Squirrel quickly. What a kind friend, smiled Bear. Mouse blushed. He'd never been called a friend before. When the rain stopped, Bear pointed them in the right direction. And you better hurry, he said. It's getting late. On they trudged through the darkening forest. Little Badger yawned. She's tired, said Squirrel, as shadows stretched across their path. Well, it's way past her bedtime, agreed Owl. I know, cried Mouse. She's tired and hungry and scared and she needs her mum and it's getting dark and, and I don't know what to do, he sobbed. There, there, said Squirrel. Owl spread his wings. I know what you need. Hug, cheered Little Badger. Mouse felt funny. Being a bit of a grumpy mouse, he didn't get very many cuddles. Suddenly, there was a flash of grey in the bushes. Mummy, called Little Badger hopefully. But it wasn't Mummy Badger. It was a wolf. He swaggered over, licking his lips. Ha 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 ha. Look what we have here, the wolf sniggered. A squirrel for starters. A badger and an owl for main course, and a mouse for pudding. <laughs> I am not a pudding, shouted Mouse angrily, and you can't eat my friends. Says who? 
sneered the wolf. Me, shouted Mouse. And me, shouted Squirrel. And me, shouted Owl. And me, shouted Mummy Badger. The wolf took one look at her angry eyes and scarpered. Mummy Badger hugged Little Badger tight. Thank you all for bringing her home. It was Mouse's idea, said Squirrel. Well, thank you, mister. Wait a minute, said Mummy Badger. Aren't you that grumpy mouse who lives in the oak tree? <sighs> For the last time, huffed Mouse, I am not grumpy. At least, not anymore. And for the first time in a long time, Mouse smiled. Because now I have friends, he said. And friends, well, that's just what I need.